Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about hypothyroidism and why there is unexplained weight gain in hypothyroidism patients and what can be done to lose that weight. This video was requested by one of the commenters and remember you can also request videos on biology topics in the comment section below. So in this presentation I'm going to cover about what is thyroid glands function and what are the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism, what are the foods that needs to be avoided and what are the food that can be taken and what are the lifestyle modifications that needs to be done in hypothyroidism patients. So the two immediate signs of hypothyroidism patients is unexplained weight gain and swelling in the neck region. Before explaining about hypothyroidism, I would explain about what is the thyroid glands function. Thyroid gland secretes T3 and T4 hormones, which are responsible for maintaining metabolic activity of the body. So in hypothyroidism, the gland is not able to secrete enough hormones to maintain the metabolic activity, which in turn leads to unexplained weight gain. So the symptoms are there is weight gain, there is constant fatigue, muscle cramps, menstrual problems and brittle nails, flaky skin, and there is poor concentration and depressive symptoms can be seen. When we go to the doctor, the doctor asks us to swallow. So what is he trying to check there is, how is the thyroid nodule? In hypothyroidism patients, there is an enlargement of the thyroid gland. So that is what the doctor is trying to see here. Now coming to what are the tips that can be followed in hypothyroidism patients. So first thing in the morning is you need to take the medication and wait for 30 minutes before eating anything or drinking anything. First thing in the morning, you can have coriander water drink that is made by coarsely grinding the coriander seeds without using the electric grinder because the heat from the electric grinder is going to kill all the nutrients. And then you can also massage your thyroid gland, the neck area, with some cold pressed walnut oil. And if it is not available, you can use a cut onion to massage it for five minutes. It is done to stimulate the blood flow. Now coming to what causes hypothyroidism? Iodine deficiency and iron deficiency causes it. So you might be wondering that every day we have iodized salt, which is good for thyroid gland. No, because iodized salt, which is available in the market, has synthetic iodine, whereas the rock salt has natural form of iodine. And the food needs to be stored in glass containers and stainless containers, and the food needs to be prepared in brass or cast iron instead of plastic, because plastic usage of plastic also hinders the hormonal activity. Now coming to what are the foods that be, can be consumed and what are the foods that needs to be avoided. The foods needs to be rich in selenium and omega-3 fatty acids and iron rich foods like salmon which has omega-3 fatty acids, mushrooms, egg whites, garlics can be consumed. Chia seeds is a very good source of omega-3 fatty acids, flax seeds, hemp seeds and what is goitrogenic rich foods? Goitrogens these are the foods which inhibit the activity of the thyroid gland. So these needs to be minimized like broccoli, kale, cauliflower, strawberries, peanuts and mustard greens which is also called sag in Hindi and soy products. And But if you still want to have little of them you have to boil for 30 minutes because it helps in easy digestion because these foods are very much rich in fiber which is not good for the people suffering with hypothyroidism. Now coming to lifestyle modification. 30 to 45 minutes of exercise is recommended along with breathing exercises also called pranayama in yoga is found to be very beneficial for hypothyroidism patients. This is a sample of a diet chart where usually what I have tried to incorporate is first thing in the morning you have coriander powder water and then break your fast with fruit rather than having tea or coffee and most of your meals have a good amount of protein, salads and a very little amount of complex carbohydrates. Remember one thing, thyroid 
hypothyroidism is normal. The three things which you need to keep in your mind is getting yourself tested and getting yourself educated and doing whatever you can do to maintain this disease. I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you guys want me to make any other video, please comment in this.